Hi, I'm Zaina, and this is my husband, Chad. We've been traveling the U.S. for over two years now in our self-built tiny home on wheels with our two cats. Recently, we found out we're bringing one more on board. Stay tuned and subscribe if you want to join the adventure. Good morning. Good morning. It is early and we are having our very first snow day here in Colorado, which is very exciting for us. I have a little kitty. A little kitty. Before we do anything though, I gotta get some coffee. Someone get some coffee. friends we are headed out on this snow day it's not a snow day anymore yeah Colorado it was snowing like crazy this morning it was so fun to wake up to and then the Sun came out and the skies are blue and the snow is like almost all melted yeah but still good snow day and I shaved it up a little bit Thought I was getting a little scraggly took off about five years so the bus is done at the shop uh, everything is working great running great the check engine lights turned off there are no drips so we're just going to grab it right now and we're going to take it to a storage unit up in Wellington. I guess if you didn't see our live stream a couple weeks ago, we made a pretty big announcement. Uh, we haven't announced it on any videos, so. Yeah, I guess we should. Yeah, if you haven't seen that, um, we decided because of, you know, the cat, baby, the weather, so many reasons, uh, we are not going to be traveling or living in the bus this winter. Yeah. Big decision. We lived in the bus, as a lot of you guys know, two years ago in the winter in Colorado. And it was very quaint and cozy because our bus felt like a little cabin on wheels. It's nice and cozy in here. It's uh, 72 degrees. Oh man. Yeah. So let's check out outside. Hey Tavi. Hmm. Okay. It is not 72 degrees out here. I think it's closer to six. But it was also really tough. And I think that for me, I don't know. I, I don't want anything else stressful to complicate the pregnancy or anything. So I think we just thought about it a lot and decided that it's the most responsible, reasonable decision. And again, the other option was to drive south and come back up for the pregnancy appointments. But the more we thought about that, it was like, that's gonna be so much driving and it's gonna get cold down south at some point anyway. So anyway. Yeah, so we are going to be storing the bus. Um, we've been tossing around the idea of uh, selling the bus mm -hmm. since we're going to be storing it for so long it's a massive 7.3 liter and storing that through the winter outside in the cold weather isn't really great for the engine anyway yeah uh, that definitely wasn't i don't know it's kind of crazy to think about because we've only been living in this bus for a couple months and we've like planned it out to have like the crib in there and to have this whole space for gray and we really built it out with the consideration that we were going to have a baby on board with us so but yeah just realistically we don't know if it's the best decision to store a diesel engine for months on end um, you know mice could come and chew through the wires we're not gonna be able to turn it on so it, there's just a lot of things to consider so we're talking it over we're thinking about a lot of things and yeah, um, yeah we'll keep you guys updated but yeah. for now we're gonna grab it and we're gonna store it do that for the mechanics so let's go okay so we went to the mechanics to pick the bus up and it wouldn't turn over the battery was dead uh, so we sat there and jumped the battery and by the time we got it started the storage place was closed so we parked it at Walmart in the parking lot last night, and here we are the next day trying to get it started once again because the battery seems to be dead. So this bus is kind of becoming a pain in the butt for us, to be honest. <laughs> All right, friends, well, we finally got it started and moved it to where it's gonna be resting for a while. So we'll keep you updated, but let's get back to the house. All right, we're back home, 
After like all the annoyances we've been experiencing with the bus and having uh, an old, huge diesel engine, we're kind of over it, guys. Yeah. Like, we're not exactly to that point, but we're looking right now. Um, we're actually looking for cars because we're gonna need something to drive around while we're staying out here. So, I don't know, we're just kind of shopping around right now to see what would happen if we did kind of thing, you know what I mean? All right, so I know you guys are tired of hearing about Tabby, what's going on with her. Honestly, we're tired of talking about it, so I totally feel you there. But I just wanna show you what our week has been like. Um, I've been feeling quick cuts this video, so I'm gonna show you guys in quick cuts to get it over with, rip the band-aid off. Just IV my cat, as you do. <laughs> Not actually IV, IV means intravenous. Or whatever. You just subcutaned your cat. Subcutaneous. Something else I've been working on this week. I have tackled a monster of a song on piano. Um, I just really wanted to go for it. So I'm learning Bohemian Rhapsody on piano, like exactly the way Freddie plays it. And it's, I spent pretty much all week um, in my free time teaching myself that song. Hey monster, you're so cute, you're so cute. And I'm gonna put my progress at the very end of this video, like with the bloopers and stuff after we do our outro. So stick around if you wanna map my progress throughout these videos. I think we're gonna start including more, more musical stuff, things that we're learning. Um, I don't know, just to document it. Why not? We think it'd be super fun, you know, to look back on our progress in months and years from now. So, check it out. There's something that's really bothering me and it's not very often that we get on this channel and talk about politics or what's going on in the world. Um, but we're no longer censoring ourselves and we're just kind of trying to put out there what's important to us. And this is very important to me. So please indulge me while I get on my soapbox for the next few minutes here. I am incredibly disappointed in America and a lot of the companies in this country. Um, I feel like we've all lost sight of integrity and we've forgotten what it means to stand up for what you believe in. There are over a billion people right now standing up for what they believe in, standing up for equal rights, standing up for half of the rights that we get here in America. And I'm so disappointed in companies like Apple and Blizzard Games and Nike, and Marriott, and the list goes on and on, the NBA. So many people that are allowing us to have a tenuous grasp on our First Amendment right. They're allowing another country to dictate us through fear of financial detriment. And to me, that is not what I believe in. That is not the America that I want. Those aren't the companies that I want to represent. It breaks my heart to know that a communist dictator thousands of miles from here is fear-mongering and keeping people here from exercising our First Amendment right. And Zane and I firmly believe in voting with our dollar. That's something we've believed in for years now. And next time I need to buy a new pair of shoes or a new cell phone or I want to go out and get a new video game, I'm, sh I'm going to think about this. I'm going to think about where my money's actually going. You know, there's a good chance that this video is going to be demonetized or even deleted or they might even delete our entire channel for talking about what's happening right now with America and China. But you know what? That's okay. If this is what gets our channel deleted, then I will honestly be proud of that. Because I believe in integrity. I believe in standing up for what you believe in. And what I believe in is freedom. I believe that everybody deserves equal rights. I believe in democracy. And it's failing us right now. We're allowing a communist dictator to tell us what we can and cannot do. And it's only because we're afraid of losing money. So you know what? I'd say we we make these companies lose money anyway. 
by not supporting them anymore. Okay. That's the end of my, that's the end of my lecture. That's the end of my soapbox speech. I am very disappointed by what's going on right now with American politics and the mess that we're in. I'm very disappointed in the Syria-Turkey thing as well, but I'm not going to get into politics. I just want to talk to you guys about integrity and how at the end of the day, when you're lying there and you're on your deathbed and you, and you look back at your life, wouldn't you rather live a life with integrity? All right, I'm going to eat breakfast. All right, friends, thank you for listening to my rant. Thank you for watching this video. Um, we're gonna get start getting back to more normal, normal living zeal. Uh, after this, we're gonna be working on the cookbook a lot next week. We kind of had to take a big pause on that for Tabby. Um, but we'll we're feeling here. high. But we're feeling high. We're feeling super grateful, super happy right now. That was just like a crazy couple weeks, but yeah, Tabby's doing so much better. I know we didn't talk about it a lot, but she is our miracle cat. Literally, she's like making a full recovery and it's amazing. So, anywho, we love you guys so much. We will be revamping up this cookbook this upcoming week. My birthday's on Tuesday, and besides that, like that's our main priority and focus is to get that out to you guys. So we'll keep you updated. And right now we're gonna start another video. So yep. make sure you're subscribed so you can stay tuned for the next one. All right, gang, live zealously and um, live with integrity. And we love you. We love you. Sorry it's been a while since we've put out a video, guys. It's been quite the adjustment getting used to taking care of Tabby this way. But yeah, she's doing a lot better. We picked her up exactly one week ago. Um, and yeah, basically the vet told us that she wasn't gonna make it. Um, and here she is, she's making it, she's recovering. So last night, right before we- It's okay. It's okay, we can wash it. That's the nice thing about being in a house. Snow days. So winter starts here in Colorado in October, <laughs> and then it ends around May. Oh, Tabby. It's okay. So this book has become our uh, apothecary. Uh, we have our B complex broken open there. We have our carotene. We have milk thistle and turmeric. Our liver meds go right there. And then we have the amount that each get every day written down here on the cover of this book. It's uh, It's been something. Okay. Let's try and stay put. This, this is the problem with her getting better. Oh God. Just like all came out. Here's what I got so far. About a week's worth of practice.